Let's welcome to the show former Deputy Assistant Attorney General John Hughes. So your reaction, John, what do you think about the president testifying? Is that a wise choice by the defense? First of all, that's an earth shattering choice for the trial itself, because this is primarily a case about documents. The prosecution is just claiming that President Trump tried to hide this payoff, which should have been accounted for as a campaign contribution, even though the federal government, which is in charge of the federal campaign laws, has chosen not to prosecute. President Trump would be completely within his constitutional rights not to testify. That said, you know, are we in the business of second judging, second guessing the choices President Trump makes with how to deal with the public? Because that's what I think this really is. Yes. He's not trying to do this to win the trial. He's trying to do it to appeal to the of course, public. Of course, it's, it's not going to be it's not going to be televised. We should say that. So he's it's going to we're going to have to wait for those moments when he comes out of the trial for him to speak, mm -hmm. as long as he's not under any, any kind of gag order during the trial itself. So how will how will the message get out of what happens inside the courtroom? Well, I think he wants to show he's being persecuted. That the, and I agree with some of what he's saying that this trial legally is very weak and the facts are very weak. Absolutely. I'm not even sure constitutionally can be prosecuted under these charges. So if he goes out in the courtroom and says, I've got nothing to hide, I'm waiving my Fifth Amendment rights, and then this gives him also the freedom to talk out in front of the courthouse, as you said, David, and make his appeal to the public. Maybe that's the right political choice to go. I would say legally that's not the smartest move to do, though, is to waive your right, yeah. right to yeah. against self-incrimination. But this, just to remind folks, this is a case that was turned down by federal prosecutors. They looked at it. They didn't think a case was there. And they were thinking of it as a misdemeanor. The, 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 the fact that the DA, uh, the local DA, Alvin Bragg, has got, frankly got a terrible track record on the way he's handling the situation in Manhattan, the crime situation here. Uh, but he's a very political DA. He's he's come out against Donald Trump. Uh, he upgraded it to to a felony. I mean, you know, you can't, you just can't do those sort of things. And it was a weak case to begin with. Plus, is with witnesses like Michael Cohen. Where are you going to go with that if you're the prosecution? Yeah, we got to step back for a little bit from the trial and realize how significant this is. Not only are we putting on trial for the first time in our history a former president, also one of the two major candidates for the presidency in the upcoming election, are we going to allow politically elected DAs to interfere with who we're allowed to vote for, trying to disrupt the way our elections are working at the national level? I think that's a big mistake, and that's also what's on trial on Monday, is whether we should allow a DA to use these kind of, I hate to use the word, trumped up charges yeah. to try to interfere with our elections. But isn't that what's happening with so many of these cases? Letitia James, the other New York case brought by the attorney general of the state of New York, where the judge picked this huge fine out of the air in a supposedly fraud case where there was no victim. So you have this yeah, half a billion dollar fine, which was, was turned down, uh, uh, brought down about two thirds by the appellate court, but still a huge fine for something that that had no victim. I mean, it's just it's and, and she, of course, campaigned on the issue of getting Trump. Uh, David, you really put your finger on it, because what you're seeing this case, the New York attorney general case, the case that's imploding down in Georgia, you see all these elected state and local officials rushing to judgment, trying to influence the election. And so they're sloppy. They're putting together cases that are collapsing. It shows you how uh, how poorly this was all done. And as someone who's a former Justice Department official, I worry they're sacrificing public faith in our justice system and our courts and our constitutional system, yeah. which in the long run is more important than trying to get President Trump or anybody. And we haven't begun to talk about Fonnie Willis. That's for a whole nother day. Talk about something that makes people <laughs> disparage our legal justice yeah. system. I mean, that's, that's another whole whole deal. Yeah. And Jack Smith. Uh, John, great to see you. Thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.